restoration family and friends. Here we are at the Sea of Galilee. This is a place where most of the miracles of Jesus took place. Right here is where he chose his disciples. Right here is where miracles were experienced, where Peter walked on the water. Right here is where the miracle of the great catch took place. And by faith, as we promised you that we were going to do, we're here to give a word for you tither. You that are the pillar of God's house. You that are faithful in your giving of the 10% that God has asked you to give. I want to read a scripture to you um, from Matthew 17. And it said, when they arrived in Capernaum, and this is where we are right now in Capernaum, the collectors of the half shekel temple tax went up to Peter and said, does not your teacher pay a half shekel? And Peter answered, yes. And when he came home, Jesus spoke to him first saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do earthly rulers collect duties or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? When Peter said from strangers, then Jesus said to him, then the sons are exempt. However, so that we do not offend them, go to the sea, throw in a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. And when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take it and give it to them to pay the temple tax for you and for me. My friend, God is a provider. He's a miracle working God. And we're believing by faith that as God provided, as Jesus provided, the money needed, that Peter needed to pay the tax. As Jesus multiplied the fish and the bread on this seashore, as Jesus caused the miracle to happen with the multiplication where Peter had fished all night, didn't find anything, could not catch anything. And with one word, he threw the net where Jesus ordered him to throw the net and he caught a huge amount of fish. God is a provider and he will provide for you tithers, you that are standing on the word of God. Here we have the list of tithers, lists of those who wrote it, your names, you wrote your names at the branches. Many of you messengered us, many of you emailed us your names. Your names are all written here, uh, here on the list of the tithers. And we're just gonna lift up your names right now as promised, believing that the same way that Jesus provided for them, for Peter, for his disciples, for all of those who came to him, that he will provide for you and let nothing lack in your life. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? I want you to close your eyes there where you are and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I unify my faith right now with all your tithers that are watching right now and those who will be watching later, my God. Read the list that is here, my God. You know who are your tithers. You know and you see their faithfulness, oh God. Some, oh God, remain faithful even in the midst of financial difficulty, oh Lord. We're asking you to provide greatly, oh God, to come through for your tithers, Lord. Let nothing lack in the life of your tither, but supply their every need and beyond. Open the floodgate of heaven. Pour out your blessing on the life of your tithers, for they are the head and not the tail 
above and never beneath, lenders and not borrowers, O oh God. Let nothing lack in their lives. Let them be able to give without expecting back. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, I ask you, Father, the same way that you provided for Peter, the same way that you provided for the multitude that followed you and were hungry and you multiplied the fish and the bread, provide for your tithers so that when others look at the life of your tithers, may they see extraordinary blessings, oh God. Blessings, breakthroughs, open doors that are unheard of and uncommon to man. Even when there may be financial difficulties around them, Lord, may they continue to prosper for your honor and for your glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, Restoration family and friends, tithers, stay blessed, stay focused, stay faithful because God is faithful. And as you remain faithful, God will remain faithful all the way from Galilee here in Capernaum where Jesus gave Peter the miracle. God is going to continuously give you your financial miracles in Jesus' name.